Hello, my name's David. I wanted to go over the foot pedal assembly for a Ford tractor. Um, I was surprised that uh, th this style of tractor didn't come with a foot pedal. Uh, first, let me just kind of go over my experience with tractors. I didn't grow up around tractors. Uh, I guess my, my first exposure to tractor use was uh, as a teenager, I would mow some grass for the church and it was a, uh, a two-wheel drive Kubota tractor um, with the rear deck. And um, then later on, when I got some property of my own, I bought a very similar type of two-wheel drive. It was like a 25 horsepower, uh, small Kubota tractor. And uh, I, I've got a lot of good to say about that kind of type of tractor. And then later on after that, I got a, a four-wheel drive, Ford L4400 Kubota tractor, front-end loader and so forth. But some circumstances came up and I decided to go ahead and sell it. And I, but I found myself on the homestead here needing a tractor, something to uh, scrape gravel and, 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 and do a little bit of bush hogging here and there. And things that you just can't really do with an ATV, like pull a log and the ATV just sits there and spins where a tractor can just snatch it and go, things like that. So I started looking to see what a relatively small amount of money could do in the tractor world and I started looking on Craigslist and finding old tractors like these and come to find out these tractors actually run and they uh, and you can get parts for them in fact you can set them up to be almost like brand new if you want so I was amazed at that there's a whole following of uh, parts availability for old Ford tractors as well as others but one thing that that struck me after I started looking into them is all you can use is the the hand throttle here I thought it just seems so awkward I was just so used to having a foot pedal you know from automobile use as well as the previous tractor usage I did and so I looked a little bit further and found out that there's this this product called the Dowden foot throttle and uh, it's an easy uh, setup um, as you can see it's it's mounted underneath the foot plate here I actually still need to put the one retaining uh, screw in right there, <clears throat> but the, the uh, this is actually a replica of the one that was uh, available back in I guess the 40s and 50s, and you can get them for 8 end tractors as well as this particular model here. This is a 1959 Ford 601 Workmaster with that that red Tiger engine. It's just just a neat machine. I, I I'm I'm very uh, pleased with it, and uh, but like I say, not having a foot. Uh, throttle just made the uh, vehicle seem so awkward in, in uh, slow maneuverability but let me just show you this shaft it comes down here it goes underneath the assembly here there's a an arm that comes up behind this linkage here it sends it to this uh, shaft running it kind of like a 45 degree angle and then if you can see right here it's almost kind of like a horizontal teeter-totter where it connects to the other side of the machine. So let's go, kind of go around the other side and see where it connects up. You say, was this a difficult um, thing to install? I wouldn't say it was difficult. Um, one of the things that I would recommend, I'd say, I think the thing that makes it the most difficult is this shaft right here. This is the original throttle linkage shaft the instructions detail how you actually have to flatten it out and go straight with this thing. You have to straighten it out so that you can actually slide it through this sleeve right here that's, that comes part of the kit. Then it has to be put back in the same shape that it was in originally. That can be a little bit difficult, but I would recommend getting a sheet of paper and tracing the original shape of the shaft and there's, there's two different dimensions that you have to keep in mind. There's that direction, there's here, and then there's a, a 45 or a 90 degree angle right here that has to be retained. So that's just kind of something to think about uh, there, but you want to get it back to that. But like I say, where we come from the other side is this teeter-totter type shaft right here, which is, is the same um, linkage then that connects on, on this stainless steel shaft, and it kind of rides in a, along here, this little um, set, uh, we call it adjustment uh, piece, it sets the throttle linkage in this uh, direction, and then this is the governor of the uh, for the engine. 
So it took a little bit of um, fine tuning because originally I had a, a certain RPM range that the foot throttle would use. It would maybe have like a, maybe a 500 RPM range. And then after that, it just didn't have anything. So I had to fine tune it. Um, but let me just show you a little bit of the operation here. It makes it so much better. I'll go ahead and start it. And you still have full functionality of the regular hand throttle. If you just want to set it for a certain RPM and run a steady uh, uh, speed, mowing grass or whatever. But if you're doing a lot of slow work, like we have a lot of trees and, and slow maneuverability, I, I just love the ability to uh, go slow with this. Because it'll run at about 300 RPM. And by doing that, the uh, you can just ease off the throttle Worthwhile modification of your tractor. 